It almost feels like I'm dreaming. You see, as a kid, IECPA meant a slippery basement where a few of us would play. Now, its name flashes on billboards all over the highway. It's the place people refer to as Youth Masjid because of how common it is for the building to be roaring with energy and laughs from the youngsters, how packed with programs it is for different ages, how extra welcoming it tries to be for the entire family, and how much room it makes for fresh talent to get involved. This year, our youth leadership has even facilitated bringing our youth to regional competitions, and the LV youth were ranked first overall team at the Muslim Interscholastic Tournament. It's also been incredible seeing IECPA at the forefront of choosing hope over despair by raising awareness and mobilizing for Palestine. We invested in billboards, invited relief organizations to fundraise, advocated on television and in newspapers, supported protests led by the youth, and provided transportation to local and national demonstrations. This year, we also built our playground and revamped our security team in major ways so that traffic flow and safety for everyone is fully thought through by us so you don't have to. Our community is growing fast and so are their needs, even for adults. So we have crafted dedicated sisters and brothers programs and continue to grow our family-oriented annual Umrah trips. Zakat spending has more than tripled towards local families in need and eligible causes. Tajen Quran Institute continues to grow its student body and faculty. In addition to hiring a skilled young executive director to, well, direct us, we launched our endowment to sustain our growth and make us less dependent on donations. Then, there's the Behind the Minbar podcast, IECPA's new initiative to provide blueprints for a better masjid wherever that may be. Within less than a year, people from all over the nation, even in Hawaii and Australia, have shared how they await these episodes to better their work, how this is literally an answer to their dua, and how they require their teams to listen to these podcasts. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Thank you all for being part of the journey, and I ask you all to keep believing that we are just getting started. Let's put our hands together like we always do, so many more generations can say, just as I can, IECPA is a big part of the man I am today.